Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mrs McKee. I'm back here. I'm in my hut the day after it snowed. So it's beautifully sunny in here today. I hope you had a great time in the snow yesterday. I went for a walk in the afternoon and saw more snowmen than I think I've ever seen. Lots of you had obviously been out there and been very busy. So today, you're going to need your pretend percussion instrument that you might have found around the house at the very end of our lesson. I'm just going to move the microphone. You're also going to need a little bit of space today because we are going to do some actions along to our next piece from the Carnival of the Animals. So first of all, make sure you've got lots of space and second of all, make sure that you've got one of your sounds. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be shaky, tappy, boomy, whatever you like, jingly. It doesn't really matter. But first of all, we're going to say hello. So have you got your waving hands ready and your singing voices? Fantastic. Are you ready? Off we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Glad that you are here. Hello everyone, hello everyone. Glad that you are here. Show me those claps. I, 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 I'm glad that you are here. One more time. I, 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 I'm glad that you are here. Well done. I bet that was lovely at your end. I bet you were singing beautifully. Now, now we know that song really, really well, I've got a little challenge for you. Some of you will recognise this that's sitting next to me, my magic hat. Some of you might remember who's inside the magic hat, but some of you might not have seen him before. What do magicians usually have inside their hats? They have white rabbits. Now, my white rabbit is really good at helping us to learn how to sing in our heads. Sometimes we don't want to be singing out loud the whole time. Sometimes we need to be using our thinking voice, not our singing voice or our speaking voice, but our thinking voice. And my magic bunny, here he is. Do you want to have a close up? Says. Don't say he looks like a mouse. I worked very hard to make this bunny. So he's going to help us use our thinking voices. Let me show you how. We're going to sing the hello song again. But every time the magic bunny is outside his hat, we use our singing voice. But every time whoop, the magic bunny disappears back inside the hat, we're going to use our thinking voice to sing the song instead. So we still sing the whole song all the way through, but sometimes it's with our singing voice and sometimes we sing it in our head. Shall I show you how it goes? From the beginning, watch out for where the bunny disappears. Are you ready? Off you go. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you are here. Glad that you are here. Do you see what happened? I sang hello everyone the second time in my thinking voice. See if you can do it. Ready? Off we go. Hello everyone, hello everyone. Glad that you are here. Hey. Glad that you are here. Do you get the idea? What happens if I put the bunny down at the end of each sentence? Let's try it from the beginning. Are you ready? Off we go. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Glad that you are here.
what comes next? I, 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 I'm glad that you are here. Did you finish the song at the same time as me? If you did, you were really using your thinking voice very well. Shall we try it one more time? I'm going to make it a bit trickier this time. Watch out. The bunny might go up and down really quite quickly, but it doesn't mean to say you have to sing it quickly. You'll just have to be watching out for when you sing it in your head. Are you ready? Are you ready? Off we go. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I, 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 I'm. I, 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 I'm. Did you notice something about when the magic bunny kept disappearing? Were we singing the same words every time in our heads? I think we were. I think we were singing glad that you are here every time the magic bunny disappeared. We might use the magic bunny again another day. Would you like to say goodbye? What's that? Oh, he says he's really looking forward to seeing which animals are going to be in the bag for the Carnival of the Animals topic today. OK, it's going to happen now. Thank you. Goodbye, Magic Bunny. So, yes, it's time for us to see which animals are in the Carnival of the Animals this week. So you might notice that my bag's a little bit flat this week. There isn't anything too big in there today. Shall we see what it is? I'm not going to be able to curl it up very small, but you can. Are you ready to curl up your, uh, curl yourselves up really small so that we can do the bag song? Are you ready? All curled up small. Here we go. Something inside is curled up small, waiting to come and see us all. We clap our hands and count to three and then we'll have a look and see right are you ready to get up and do me three big claps and we'll find out what's inside ready one two three okay oh now this week it's a collection of animals it's not just one and it's all about the place that you might keep them so here we go let me see if I can get this out without spoiling it. Ooh, I'm going to bring it up closer to the camera so that you can see what's going on. What can you see? Oh, can you see some fish in there? Know the name of the place that you might keep fish if you have them inside indoors it's called an aquarium an aquarium usually has a collection of fish and I've made this picture to show you what my aquarium might look like oh hang on there are some very strange fish in there what are these what's that one They're the musical instruments that play most of this tune called the aquarium. There's this one here. Can you see that really clearly? It's a piano. The piano plays nearly all the tune in this piece of music called the aquarium. And what about this one? It's a violin. It looks very much like the double bass that we looked at last week being the elephant, but the violin is only this big. So it makes a higher sound. Do you remember last time the double bass that was bigger than me made a really low sound? Well, the violin, because it's smaller and its strings are shorter, makes a much higher sound. 
So, we're going to play the music for the aquarium and I would love you to listen out for the piano and the violin parts. But I thought today, let's do some lovely actions to this music because it's very, very beautiful. In a moment, I'm going to need you to stand up. But first of all, I'm going to show you what your arms are going to be doing before you stand up. I want you to imagine that your arms are a bit like, well, your hands actually are a bit like jellyfish. Have you ever seen a picture of what jellyfish look like when they move, when they swim? They kind of, I don't know if you can see this because of my microphone in the way, they sort of waft up like this. So could you do a waft like that of your jellyfish hands up as high as you can? Are you ready? So we're going to go jellyfish, 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 jellyfish to the top. And then I'd like you to bring your hand all the way back down to the start. Can you do it with your other hand? Jellyfish, 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 all the way back round. Should we do that two times? Jellyfish, 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 all the way round. And last time, jellyfish, 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 all the way round. Now see if you can do it with both hands together. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Jellyfish, jellyfish, all the way around. Lovely, good. So that's our jellyfish move. One hand, then the other hand, and then both together. Now after that, I want you to imagine that you are a little stream of bubbles coming down from the surface and you're going in a little ribbon of bubbles like this. One hand, make a ribbon of bubbles all the way down. And then do it with the other hand. Ribbon of bubbles like that. Very good. Now can you make them go up? Bubbles going up. Up. Go the bubbles and then out. Good. But let's go down this time. So we're going to go one down and then the other one. Just like we did with our jellyfish, but we're going down. So one arm goes down and then the other one comes down and then back to the first one coming down and then the other one down. Lovely, we've got a little pattern. So if I say jellyfish to you, remember you're gonna go like this. And if I say bubbles, you're gonna go like this, okay? Great. Now the next thing that you're going to be able to do is stand up for me because you're going to need to use some really big, big wavy arms like this all the way around. So we're going to make them go in one direction three times. Okay, so I'm going to go around this way I think first of all. So I'm going to go one, two, three and then I'm going to make some waves over to one side. Can you do that with me? One, two, three, waves. So we're going to call this the wave move. Then I want you to go the other way. One, two, three and then we're going to go waving over this way. Wave. Okay. So those are the wave moves. Can we do that all together? So we're going to go over this way first. So make sure I'm, we're going to go one, two, three, waves. Now you're going to go the other way. One, two, three, waves. Lovely. So can you remember all of them so far? Jellyfish bubbles, waves, and then there's one last action that we're going to do that I'm going to call starfish. So I want one hand to make a starfish up in the air and then the starfish is going to twinkle down. And then another one on the other side, starfish, twinkle all the way down. And then if I say starfish more than once, I want you to make lots of them all over the air. Can you do that for me? Starfish, 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 twinkle, starfish, twinkle. 
starfish, 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 starfish. And then the very last thing that we're going to do is do those beautiful ribbons again, but with our hands at the same time. So ribbons of bubbles. That's it, nice and slowly, ribbons of bubbles. And then the bubbles are going to rise to the surface like this and then stretch. Okay, you should have all the actions now ready to listen to the aquarium music. So we're gonna have our jellyfish, our bubbles, our waves, our starfish, and then both bubbles going all the way up. I've worn some wafty sleeves today because I thought that might look quite nice while I was being a bit of a starfish or a, some bubbles. You might want to do this with some, I don't know, some scarves or some ribbons tied to your wrists. If you'd put them in your hand, you can't do the starfish. So you might want to stop or do this again with something attached to your wrists so that they waft beautifully when you do your bubbles. Shall we try it? I think my machine might have gone to sleep. I'm going to move my microwave, microphone because I know I'm going to knock it over when I stand up and I'll also have to move my laptop so that you can see all of me. Let's see if I can wake it up while I'm moving this. Oh, all these technical challenges. Right, that should be better. Or oh, maybe a bit further up so you can see my arms above my head. There we go. You can see the top of the pictures as well this time. Right. Here it goes. Let's start from the beginning. So a jellyfish. All the way down. Other hand. Jellyfish. All the way down. Now do your bubbles. another one for another day. So you might like to have a go at that again at home. You might want to put some scars on your wrists. You might want to find the track on YouTube that I sent you and see whether your moves match what the fish are doing in the video. Hope you enjoyed that. I quite enjoyed doing a bit of dancing. Haven't done that for ages. Time to find your percussion instrument just before it's time to go. I'm going to move my laptop again. So here we go. Right. Oh, so have you found your percussion instrument? Good. I've decided to use my sticks today. 
OK, first of all, we're going to learn a little poem. Can you say this after me? Are you ready? Fish is in the ocean, fish is in the sea. Can you play their names for me? I'll go first and then it's your turn. Fish is in the ocean, fish is in the sea. You do it. Fish is in the ocean, fish is in the sea. Can you play their names for me? Can you play their names for me? Well done. Fantastic. Let's see if we can do that all the way through. And I'm going to keep my sticks making a beat all the way through it. Can you remember the words? Are you ready? Off we go. Fish is in the ocean. Fish is in the sea. Can you play their names for me? Fantastic. Would you like to say it along with me whilst you play your beat on your instrument? Can you do it? Get your instrument and see if it can make the same beat as mine is. One, two, three, four. Ready, ready, steady. Off we go. Fish is in the ocean, fish is in the sea. Can you play their names for me? Did that work? Did you manage to keep your beat the same as mine? Fabulous. Right, we're going to do some echoes with our percussion now. So I'm going to play and say the names of some kinds of creatures you might get in the sea, maybe even in an aquarium if it's a big one. So I'm going to say it first, then I want you to say it to me, and then I'm going to play it with my sticks, and I want you to play it. See how it works. Off I go. Sea horses. You say it. Sea horses. Sea horses. You play it. Sea horses. Should we try that again? Now you know how it goes. I go first. Sea horses. Sea horses, sea horses, sea horses. Did that work? Good job. They're going to get a little bit more difficult every time we do one. Here goes another one. Have you ever heard of these? They're like little swimming tortoises. My go first. Terrapins, 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 terrapins. Did you do it? Good job. Okay, here's a more difficult one. My go first. Slimy seaweed. Slimy seaweed. Slimy seaweed. Slimy seaweed. How many have we done so far? Three. Let's see if we can go from the beginning without a gap in between. So I'm going to say, you're going to say, I'm going to play, you're going to play, and then we'll do the next sea creature. My go first. Sea horses, sea horses, sea horses, sea horses. Terrapins, 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 terrapins. Slimy seaweed, slimy seaweed, slimy seaweed, slimy seaweed. Did that work? Did you manage it? Very last one then, here we go. I love this one, it's one of my favourites. Off I go. Jiggling jellyfish. Jiggling jellyfish. Jiggling jellyfish. Jiggling jellyfish. Ooh, was that a bit more tricky? Did you have to move your percuss percussion instrument a bit faster? I'll do it first. Off I go. Jiggling jellyfish. Jiggling jellyfish. Jiggling jellyfish. Jiggling jellyfish. Brilliant! Let's see if we can go from the beginning and say them and play them at the same time. Let me show you what I mean. Off I go. Sea horses, terrapins, slimy seaweed, jiggling jellyfish. Can you do it with me? Are you ready? Off we go. Sea horses, terrapins, Slimy seaweed, jiggling jellyfish. 
Give yourselves a clap if you did that all the way through. Well done to you. You might like to think of some other sea creatures that you could play with your percussion instrument. You might try a different percussion instrument with the words that we just said and see if it's any easier or more difficult to play. So it's time for me to go and I thought I'd just show you my aquarium one more time because if you like, if you have time, being that it's a snow day, I'm not sure if you might have less work to do, but if you feel like it, you have some time, maybe you'd like to make an aquarium as well. I just used some thick paper, but you could use a piece of cardboard. I used some brown paper ripped up to make the sand at the bottom. And I used some more ripped up bits of green paper to make the seaweed. But you could always use something like kitchen roll or toilet paper and paint it or colour it. I did a painting of some sea at the back and then I just cut out or ripped up some shiny bits of wrapping paper to make the fish. But you could cut them out or you could draw them or you could use stickers. It's up to you. Let me show you it a bit more clearly one more time. So, if you would like to make one, perhaps you could send us a photograph of what you've done and then we could have our own aquarium gallery, perhaps on the school website. That would be fab. So I hope you enjoyed listening to the aquarium this afternoon and I shall look forward to seeing you next time for another trip with another animal. Take care everyone.